Welcome back to the lesson of Microsoft Word. So today we're going to learn about formatting text and also maintaining paragraphs and also editing them one by one. Well, we're going to use two of these section of the home tab, as you can see font and also paragraph. Well, if you are like used to like using Word or maybe Excel PowerPoint, well, you will get those tools. Okay, get these tools. Okay, you might be familiar with them. So what we're going to do first is, okay, add in some text. Okay, first off, what I'm going to do is let's say the quick brown fox, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. As you can see that I have my text over here. As you can see that my text is a bit too small. So first off, what I'm going to do is select my text or select whichever type of data I want to select and then edit it one by one. So I want all of them to be selected. So I'm going to do is just select the whole line. I'm going to increase the size a bit. Let's say I want it to be 22, which is quite perfect. Now what I'm going to do is as you can see that my text is already italic. As you can see that it has been inclined a bit. If you click on like italic and you can see that the text inclines a bit to the right side. Now what I'm going to do is add in bold to I'm going to do is hit it underline and I'm going to do is decrease the size to 20 so it fits in one line. So as it is done, what I'm going to do is also change the font. Okay, so if you want to change the font, just select this text again and then like change the font however you want. So I'm going to do is select something like um, Let's say this looks not bad. Now what I'm going to do is increase the size a bit, not 20. Let's say I'm going to keep it like this. Well, this is a bit too, you know, uh, too congested. So I'm going to change to another one. Let's say Cooper. God, uh, this was also good. What I'm going to do is, okay, increase the size a bit more. You can see that this is how you will be able to select your text and then change the size. If you don't select the text and just click on here, it will not change the text anything. Okay, it will just keep it over here. Okay, 36. Now what I'm going to do over here is let's say I want to do is remove the underline. So I'm going to click on it. And if you want to add different type of underlines, what I'm going to do is like click on it and you can see underline has been selected. From here, you can select whichever type of underline you want. Let's say I want um, more underlines. I want something to be okay. I want something basic to be over here. Let's say I prefer this. Okay, as you can see that now the underline has been, you know, formatted a bit. Now, if I go here, type here, you will see the same type of underline will be applied. Okay, but if you hit enter and apply, you can see the same thing has also been applied. Okay, so first what I'm going to do over here is going to be something else. Okay changing the case so what i'm going to do is just keep the case to the let's say that sentence case okay sentence case but if you just keep it bold okay you can keep it bold but you have to keep in mind that some you know fonts does have like all the capitalized letters so i'm going to keep it to be something like band script okay now you can see that the letter case has been changed now if you want to keep them all capitalized or upper cases you can keep it like this but i prefer using that to be sentence case the first alphabet of the sentence should be capital now what i'm going to do is highlight the text if you want to highlight the text you can see this option called highlight text highlight color now what I'm going to do is hit on this under or this arrow key and you can see that there are different kind of highlight colors over here. Let's say this one or this one and this one also looks good. The yellow is like too, you know, too bright. So I'm going to do is keep them to be somewhere over here. This is good. Now you can see that my text has been highlighted. Now another thing what I'm going to do is change the color. If you want to change the color, you can see right beside that there is the text or font color. So you can select on it and then select whichever type of color you want. Let's say I want something to be like um, not just black. Let's say white is also good. So I'm going to click on this white and you can see that the text has turned into white. Okay, but if you didn't have the highlight, it would not be visible because the page is also white. So as you can see the text over here, now I'm going to do is select the whole text again. Now as it is selected, now what I'm going to do is underline, remove it, or maybe keep it underlined. You can also see that there is another option called text effect and typography. 
when you click on it you can see that there are a lot of these options let's say if you want to get a preview of him you can get a preview of it and you can see that it's going to give you a preview but if you don't click on it it will not be applied so what you're going to do is let's say i want this one so you, you can see that this has been applied now i'm going to do is let's say i want some outlines okay the outline should be a bit different so i'm going to do is keep them to be white okay now it looks a lot more better now i'm going to do is let's add some shadows if you want to add some sh shadows that is also up to you let's say outer i want outer shadows so let's say um this looks better it has a bit of shadow but not that visible but it still works right so i want some reflections so you can see that i am adding in some reflection okay now you can see that it has a bit of reflection now what i want to do is add some glow okay this one looks better you can see the glow looks a bit more cool now what i'm going to do is let's say number style if you want to add in however you want to that is going to be up to you but as i don't have any numbers so i'm not going to add any of it but if you have numbers you can try using that it's all going to be up to you well it's not like mandatory because this is a lot like you know optional okay so it's going to be up to you how you're going to do it now as we're done with the text formatting now let's move on to the paragraph section as you can see that there are a lot of tools in the paragraph section so first off what we're going to do is start on with the alignments okay so first off what i'm going to do is select the text first now from here you can see that there are four of these alignments which is going to be align left align center align right and align justified okay so first off what I'm going to do is, it's already in align left, which is also the shortcut key of control plus L. But first, what I'm going to do is turn this into center. So you can press control E or just click on it and you can see that it has turned into center alignment. Let's press control E again. It will turn back to the left alignment. See? Now what I'm going to do is, let's turn it to be the right alignment, which is going to be control plus R. Click on it and you can see it has aligned to the right side. Press on control plus R again. It will turn back to the left. If you want to justify, just press Control plus J, just as it is over here. Control J, and you can see the text has been justified. Okay, what I'm going to do is undo it. Well, there are also ways of undoing text. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how you will be able to undo and redo. If you want to undo something, what you're going to do is use these two options over here. Okay, well, there are also shortcut keys this is undo and this is redo okay you can also see the shortcut key by keeping your mouse over it if you want to repeat just press ctrl plus y if you want to undo just press ctrl plus z so what i'm going to do is let's say i'm going to delete this line delete what i'm going to do is undo that process ctrl plus z and you can see it has been like undone if you want to redo it ctrl plus y and you can see the line has been missing and it's gone but i'm going to press ctrl plus z again or i can use these two options to redo and undo it one by one well that's going to be up to you how you're going to do it now what we have here is going to be bullets there are two type of bullets one is going to be an ordered list and one is going to be ordered list in unordered list there are going to be some shapes and in ordered list there are going to be like one two three four then a b c d roman numbers well all of those so what i'm going to do over here let's type in some text let's type in banana then type in you know uh, let's say grapes then let's say apples okay well I'm gonna make some you know some bullets over here so what I'm gonna do is select those from here what I'm gonna do is let's say start off with bullets so from here when you click on this arrow key you can see that there are most of these options let's type on or start on with this okay now you can see that they are in bullets okay now what I'm gonna do is turn these into ordered list so if you want to change it you can also do it just select on whichever one you want and the bullets will be changed you can also change it to more different ones okay so this is gonna be up to you how you're gonna do it now we're gonna select on this when you click on it you will see that one two will be applied but if you want a different one just click on the, this and you can see just as I told you Roman numbers alphabets capital and small and you can see small Roman numbers too so all of them are like up to you how you're gonna do it now another thing there is gonna be multi-level listing if you want to click on it you will see that one text is over here one text is over here one text is over here 
okay so select the text I'm just gonna show you to you so select on it and let's say I'm gonna keep it like this and you're gonna do is let's say you can add in more text over here like this not cut it and then add in your text and then start from the next one you can like keep it over here okay well this is gonna be multi-level you know which is gonna be like this a like one a now let's say one B if you want to add it well that is gonna be up to you how you're gonna do it okay so this is how multi-level listing works okay so another thing there's gonna be is gonna be spacing indent and de increasing and decreasing indent so let me show you let's select this and let's say increase it a bit or decrease it a bit and you can see when I like take it over there the line is gonna start starting from wherever it's gonna start from okay now all the text is gonna start from here let's say hit enter and you can see that it's starting from here instead of starting from here okay so what I'm gonna do is select on it again and then decrease it so this is how it's gonna work like okay now another thing it's gonna be line spacing as you can see that there is a lot of spacing over here but I don't want that much spacing so I'm gonna do is select on this and then you know turn it let's say one so now they are more closer if you want them to be like a bit more further you can just select on whichever one you want and you can also add space before paragraph and after paragraph just as you want to so all is going to be up to you how you're going to do it now what you're going to do is also use this option called sort text by well this is how you can sort your text select on it sort your text and then press on ok and this will be sorted however you want them even if you type in ABCD then it will be like applied just as you want to because as you can see banana was up over here but now banana is down there because now it has selected the you know text according to the alphabets okay in like order now what we're gonna do is show you this option called this is the option where you can like use to find in where the line break is or show or hide okay well this is not that useful but you can like find in some basic you know options are basic you know information by using that if you want to make a table just click on our bottom border to select on it let's say I'm gonna select on it and then make a border let's say all borders and you can see all the borders have been added so this is how you will be able to format your text and also paragraph okay so I hope you guys like understood everything and thank you for watching this video